Uh, good morning, and here we are with the Gospel of John again. We're in uh, chapter 2. This is part 2. Jesus has already turned the water into wine. First miracle. And, uh, of course, the disciples are going, whoa. This is what he did. Anyway, this uh, three days later, um, about uh, that time, uh, they went down to Capernaum and uh, hang out, hung out with his mother and his family, and the disciples were there, and they stayed there a good, a good time. Uh, about a few days later, it was time for Passover. So uh, Jesus and the disciples went up to the Jerusalem to uh, do their offerings, their, their, their rituals, their, their requirements of their faith. And uh, when he got there, he found in the temple there were money changers and merchants of all sorts offering religious icons, uh, animals to be sacrificed, of course, all these things. Jesus made himself a scourge, which is basically a whip of small cords, and he drove them all out of the temple. He uh, drove out the oxen, the sheep, poured out the money changers' uh, tables, threw the money on the ground, and he said to them all who sold doves, says, this is my father's house. Don't turn it into a marketplace. And his disciples remembered at that point that it was written that the zeal of your house has filled me. So, the Jews said to him, the priests said, hey, by, by what authority do you do this? I mean, who are you to come in there and drive these men out of here? And he said, <coughs> destroy this temple, and I will raise it up in three days. And they said, well, it took 46 years to build this temple. Are you saying you could build it in three days? But they didn't understand he was speaking of the temple of his, of his body. <laughs> now, before he was risen from the dead, the disciples remembered that he had said this, and when that happened, of course, they believed the scripture and what Jesus said. Now, when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover in the feast day, many believed in his name when they saw the miracles that he did. But Jesus did not commit himself to them at that time because he knew the hearts of men, and he knew what was going on with them. It was an emotional response and not a spiritual one. It's chapter 2. You know, we look at faith, we look at religion, and we say, well, it's good to be religious. Actually, it's not. Okay? It's not good to be religious. Excuse the moving here. I'm trying to get this thing in the right position here. It is not good to be a religious person, okay, for a couple of different reasons. First of all, religions require organizations and structures and all these things that interfere because you're not attempting to get involved with anything except your relation with God. That's what Jesus was saying. Get all this stuff out of the way. That's why he drove the money lenders and the, and the merchants out of there. Get all of this out of the way. Get your heart right with God first. That's what you need to do. Religion, faith, is just listening to the voice of God. This is true faith. This is true religion. This is true philosophy. It's true wisdom. There is a voice deep inside every one of us. If we listen to that voice, we will do the right thing because we know the right thing. Jesus is letting us know that there is within every one of us the capacity to know God. We can allow ourselves to do that or we can block it. We can look after the world. We can go after gold and silver and women and drugs and all those things that are going to eventually screw you up. 
you can't rely on anything to do what God can do for you. God can give you the peace, the balance. God can give you the wisdom to live the kind of life that you should be living. And that's a life that honors and respects the value of every human being. As every day, Lord, we thank you for the time that we get each day to study your word, to rejoice in the beauties that you've given us. And Lord, we thank you for, the, for your gift of mercy and of grace. Lord, be with you. Lord, keep you safe. The Lord, watch over all of those you love and hold you in the palm of his hand. Peace be with you. All to Jesus I surrender, all to Him I freely give. I will ever love and trust Him in His presence.